there everybody, my name is Coach Shadow Longs to Born Bought Built for Theme Park News and welcome to a very special Theme Park News room update where we've got some new details and some plans on a brand new roller coaster set to come for the 2021 season at Dorney Park. Finally, we're going to get a new coaster at Dorney Park. Now, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you get your questions in for the 1500 sub QA session four days until the deadline for those questions. So make sure you keep getting them in below. I'll put the word out on Instagram again today and I'll do the same for the next days back to back, four days until the end of the deadline. Uh, and let's get into this video then. So this is all about Dorney Park. Now Dorney Park of course haven't received a new coaster since 2005. So it's about time we saw a brand new roller coaster and we're gonna get one. For the 2021 season. Now, I've been predicting in the theme park prediction videos for the last couple of years now that I'd like to see a new coaster at Dorney Park and we're finally going to get one. Now, we've heard rumours for a year or so that we were going to see a wooden coaster at Dorney Park and now it looks like that will be the case. So we have official planning image, uh, an, an official plan blueprint uh, on the site to show you exactly what is going down and I'll talk it through with you guys. Uh, so on your screen right now, fan dummy dozy, that my friends is the blueprint plan. I wouldn't say blueprint but I'd say it's a plan. <laughs> it's a black and white plan. So Basically, for those of you who need uh, a little bit of a statement on behalf of the plan, an application to further develop the property located at 3830 Dorney Park Road. The plan proposes to remove an existing attraction, construct a new attraction, associated walkways and excess drives, and relocate a portion of the existing Zephyr train ride. The new attraction will be approximately 106 feet tall, which is 419.5 feet above MSL. The project proposes a net reduction of impervious surface. The property is zoned CR Commercial Recreation and Dorney Park LLC is the owner and applicant. Now what I've done in the description down below is I've, got, I've put a South White Hall uh, Planning Commission public notice in the description down below you can actually go and check that out and you can actually be involved in the public meeting to discuss the new attraction. Now it starts at 7 o'clock at night on the, on Thursday the 16th of April 2020 so you can go in, into that meeting, there's a link to the meeting page you can go into that meeting, you can listen to the meeting, it is a public meeting about the new ride so you can see, hear all the stuff about it. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be there at that, uh, listening to that meeting on the 16th of April but I'll try my best, I will try my best. Uh, but one big thing to note here, and this is something I picked up from someone else's video, is the fact they've got, they've got concrete slabs, and after doing a bit of digging, it looks very similar to a wooden shuttle coaster. So based on the layout drawings, it seems to be some sort of wo wooden shuttle coaster. Now, which shuttle coaster made of wood is already existing in the world? It's Switchback at ZDT's Amusement Park, ZDT's Amusement Park. So that, my friends, tells us that this is going to be a Gravity Group wooden coaster. Now, that, again, that's just going on speculation and what we can see from the drawings of it being a wooden shuttle coaster. Unless GCI have come up with a new concept uh, for this park, it looks very likely that this is going to be a Gravity Group wooden coaster. And I think with this park being a family thrill, park i think the geographic of a gravity group wooden coaster is very good for that market so i think they're going down the right path with gci or gravity group but it looks very likely at this point in time that it will be a gravity group now we mentioned the removal of an existing attraction as well as the existing zephyr train ride so the traction that's set to be removed which i'll put on your screen now Fandabidozzi is possessed. Now this is an Intamin Impulse Twist and Spike that opened back in May 2008. Uh, it was originally called Voodoo for the 2008 series and then it became known as Possessed from 2009 all the way to present day. But of course this attraction didn't start off at this park. Uh, so in terms of actual new coasters, we haven't had a new one since 2005, but this is a relocated coaster. Now this has been operating at Georgia Park, or, uh, well Georgia Lake, uh, I call it Park, but it's Georgia Lake, um, from 2000 to 2006 as Steel Venom. 
and then it took a couple of years hiatus before moving to Dorney Park. So that is technically the newest of the coasters, but we haven't had a from scratch original new coaster since 2005, and that is of course the B&M flawless coaster, Hydra the Revenge. Uh, so very interesting stuff there. So there's a lot of things to take from this. A portion of the Zephyr train ride is set to be relocated. The removal of Possessed, the Intamin Twist and Spike Impulse Coaster. Uh, and of course the addition of what looks to be from the drawings this Gravity Group wooden shuttle coaster similar to Switchback at ZDT's Amusement Park. Now, one big thing, let's talk about this next big thing of, of, of this whole video. And that is of course... If Possessed is going, is it going to get relocated or is it going to get demolished? Now, personally, I'd like to see the coaster go somewhere else. I'd like to see it go to its third park because, of course, it's been at Georgia Lake and it's been at Dorney Park. So now it's set to, it's apparently set to leave Dorney Park, uh, even though there's been no official announcement as of yet. What is going to happen to Possess? Now, like I said, I'd like to see it move to another park. Maybe another park in the Cedar Fair chain. Uh, maybe it's going to go to a different park outside of the Cedar Fair chain. I don't mind either way. I mean, I'd like to see it go to a different park in the Cedar Fair chain, but I think a different park outside of Cedar Fair would much benefit from a coaster on this scale than... Uh, maybe like a Michigan's Adventure, even though they do need a coaster, but to be fair, they did put in a big new children's area for this year at uh, Camp Snoopy. So, we're just happy as a coaster enthusiast community that Michigan's Adventure have added something at all. Because <laughs> they're not really renowned for adding much things, so, uh, or for a while anyway. But, I think that a coaster, a, a relocation inside, like a Cedar Fair ride relocation program, similar to what Six Flags has done, uh, would be nice. Uh, but, I could see this also going to a park outside of the Cedar Fair chain, but I think I'll probably save that for a different video, you know, where do I think Possessed will go, where do I think it would fit in the geographic market, and which parks in that geographic market that would fit Possessed coaster well. Uh, so. Big thing to talk about as well with Possessed going, what will happen to the other Impulse coasters at the Cedar Fair chain? What will happen with Wicked Twister at Cedar Point? Now, of course, we've heard rumours in the past that Wicked Twister could go, but with Possessed going, what does that mean for Wicked Twister's future? And again, that's probably for a different video if we get the announcement of Wicked Twister's removal as well. Um, but it's very interesting discussion points. Um, now, leaving Possessed and Wicked Twister and the Impulse Coasters to the side a bit, the next point I want to point across is, is a wooden coaster great for Dorney Park? And my answer to that would be absolutely yes. I think that a wooden shuttle coaster is a family thrill coaster. It's something unique. It's something completely unorthodox for the park in terms of their ride lineup and their coaster lineup. You've got to think the last thrill coaster from scratch that they added was 2005 and that was Hydra the Revenge, the B&M Flawless. So you got to think, even though we've waited so long now for a new coaster, that's very much an extreme thrill coaster. You need something a bit tamer than Hydra but still thrilling. And I think that wooden shuttle coaster by Gravity Group, or if we get a surprise and it's GCI, help but looks likely to be Gravity Group, that, in my opinion, fits the bill of a family thrill coaster to come after Hydra the Revenge. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is the wait. The wait. We've been waiting for a brand new coaster. 15, coming on to 16 years when this opens, we've waited for a new coaster at Dorney Park. And we're finally going to get a new coaster from scratch. Technically, technically it's 13 years. Uh, of course, because of the uh, the possessed relocation from Georgia Lake. Uh, but from scratch, and I'm talking from scratch, we've been waiting, you know, longer than that. We've been waiting 16 years when it opens in 2021 for a new coaster. And it looks like, from these plans, we're going to get it. Now, of course, with the current coronavirus pandemic, this whole public consultation meeting is set to take place digitally, uh, which again, the link to the South Wall planning notice in the description down below, so you can go check that link out. You can go onto the meeting link at 7 for the agenda review and then 7.30 for the rest of the public meeting on Thursday, April 16th. 2020. Uh, I'll, I'll try my best to get into that meeting, but uh, it's all about time constraints and things like that. So 
you just got to work around your time schedule. Uh, but I will try my best to get into this uh, meeting online about Dorney Park's new ride. Try and find out some more details, take some notes for you guys uh, to maybe do another video about more details about this attraction. Uh, but from what we know so far, it's set to replace Possessed. Uh, from the plans. It's also set to relocate a portion of the Zephyr train ride and of course pathways and access devices and drives are set to be added as well for to, to accumulate this new development. So it's very interesting to hear about all these new stuff and hear about this uh, sort of development and like I said it's great to see Dorney Park finally getting a coaster. Now I've been taking um, my predictions, my early predictions for Cedar Fair, Six Flags and Merlin Entertainment. This has completely changed it all because I'm going to get into a little spoiler here. I predicted the Thrill slash Family Ride but I didn't say coaster so I, I, it's kind of you know thrown me off a bit uh, but I can safely say that you know um, this one is definitely going to be um, happening in my opinion. I don't think there's any reason why it shouldn't happen. I think that is going to be, along with King's Dominion's rumoured 4D free spin replacing the crypt, uh, it looks like we've got our second Cedar Fair coaster. Three if you technically count Cedar Point because I think they're going to get a coaster next year as well. Uh, so I think the coasters for Cedar Fair next year are going to go to Cedar Point, King's Dominion, Dorney Park and they're could be one more. I think it's between Knott's Berry Farm and California's Great America, in my opinion. Between those two parks. Uh, so, we could be seeing four coasts in the Cedar Fair chain for next year in 2021. So, uh, very exciting news from Dorney Park on this brand new wooden roller coaster. This, uh, new, this, this new wooden shuttle coaster made by Gravity Group. Could be GCI still, but uh, I'm thinking Gravity Group uh, going on the lines of switch back at CDT's amusement park. Park. So there we go. So I mean, rest in peace, possessed, and the old section of the Zephyr train ride. But that's been relocated anyway, so I can't really say rest in peace to the Zephyr train ride. But rest in peace, possessed at Dorney Park. Again, comment down below, guys. Where do you think this possessed ride is going to go? Do you think it's going to go into Michigan's Adventure or anywhere else in the Cedar Fair chain? Do you think it's going to go somewhere outside of the Cedar Fair chain? What parks? If so, please comment down below. Um, where do you think, uh, what, what do you think the name and the theme is going to be for this ride? If it's replacing Possessed, you know, what, what's the theme going to be for this ride? You know, is it going to be like uh, escaping a zombie? Uh, I'm going along the Possessed name here. Do you think it's going to be like escaping a zombie apocalypse? And you sort of, you're about to like jump off a building and then you sort of fall back down as the coaster falls back down. So like the backward section kind of resolves you going back down and trying to escape the zombies backwards or something. I don't know, I'm just thinking off the top of my head or in, in about a second there. I'm sure you guys can come up with better themes and names than I can. So comment down below your ideas. Um, obviously I'll put... I might actually put a post out on the community and see what you guys have for your name and theme suggestions and do another social media lounge and we'll discuss your name and theme ideas for this new Dorney Park Wooden Coaster in 2021. So at least we've got another new project for 2021 pretty much off the ground now. Uh, so there's a lot of exciting stuff going on next year. So. I'm going to keep tabs on all of it. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news from update from Dorney Park. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell, see you next YouTube video. Keep it on the coastline, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.